Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to let's play Swiggin' on the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we made our way back to back back to town here, uh, where Ted was taken away to well, try to be relieved of his rune. It didn't work out so well, and now he's dying in our house, or about to be captured by the soldiers, or something like that. And one of our men betrayed us. It was horrible. It was terrible. It was bound to happen, but I was hoping it wouldn't. Actually, I wasn't expecting it at all, really. They all seemed like reasonably trustworthy fellows, but oh well. Now I gotta figure out how, to heck to, how the heck to get out of this town in order to do whatever it is we gotta do. So, I don't think I don't think staying in uh, a bed will advance the plot, but I could hope. You know, let's see what happens if we try to go outside. That. Okay. Whoa, ouch. Watch where you're, you're going, you little runt. I get called to duty on a holiday, sent out to search for someone all night, finally find a moment to catch some rest, and you come along. Uh, yeah, let's try to be a little inconspicuous here. Halt, you little runt. Who do you think you are, bumping into me and not apologizing? What kind of upbringing did you have? Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar. Y young master, are you alright? Hey you, who do you think you are? Who are you? And hey, what's this young master business? You, show me his face. You look like that fugitive, the McDowell kid. What did you say? Any more of a fuss and we're in big trouble. Young master, get away while we hold them off. Guess we have no choice. Here we go. That's enough, young fella. You two, Imperial Big Shots. Use your heads. Would fugitives from the law still be hanging around here? They couldn't be that stupid. I, I suppose you're right. We just wanted to be sure. Stop it, you're scaring them. Leave it to me to kick them out. Hey, wait a minute. Don't worry. There's no reason why we should be so loyal to the Empire. Hey, it's that guy. Uh, what guy? Thank you very much. No big deal. I was just wondering how to pay for my meal and... Heh. <laughs> you mean... You did that just to bilk the... Come, come, let it go, eh? Well then, thanks for helping us out. So, he was actually just trying to get a free grub. He didn't care about us. Okay, that's fine by me as long as we made it out. That's fine. Oh, I thought he was gonna, like, join our party or something. I guess not. Okay, can we exit the town now? And... No, we cannot. Huh. Can I talk to you wherever you went? He had to have gone around here somewhere. You know, he might be hanging out... I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that at some point he, there's going to be something in this house, but apparently not. I mean, it's a big house, so it would make sense. What's the matter? You look troubled. Hey, <laughs> I know you are. That rebel McDowell kid, huh? Right? We are not rebels. I couldn't care less either way. Incidentally, how do you plan to escape this place? Yeah, we're trying to figure that out, but uh, we're too afraid to attack the guard at the gate, apparently. I have an idea, if you care to listen. I am used to this kind of thing. Interested? Um, sure, why not? We don't have any other option. Leave it to me, but I have one condition. Here we go. It's no big deal. If you succeed in escaping, I'd like you to meet someone. A small request, right? So it's a deal. Let's hurry. First, we must go to the palace gates. Don't worry. I won't hand you over to the Imperials. Well, I'd hope you, I hope you don't, because that'd be kind of crappy. Uh, let's see. We got Victor. Uh, let's see. You have a Tyus Sword, which has a pretty good level out of it, so that's good for that right there, I guess. Um... Not a whole lot of magic. You're you're low level, but you appear to have. As I was about to say, you have pretty good uh, attack, but that's probably because you have the level three sword. Okay. The rest of your stats are kind of eh. Now, do I have to go buy stuff for you or not? Actually, what do you have, uh, item-wise? Leather boots and a coat. That's not a whole lot, there, is it? 
You don't have any runes. Um... If they let me in, yeah, they do. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy some stuff here. Not you. You, okay. Let's see, we need a headband for you. I don't think we need a robe or a tunic or anything like that. You got the leather coat. Uh, we could give you shoes or boots. Uh, the boots are ridiculously expensive, though. Uh, so let's just go with the regular boots then. That sounds fine. Oh, you already have boots. I guess you're just going to have a second pair of boots for no real good reason, but there you go. Okay, cool. You got some extra defense. Let's get out of here. Head to the north, I guess. And I think they said we have to go to the north town anyways, or north of the area anyways. You! Hey, you said talk to that guy, right? Oh, you must be talking about the, the other gates, like the gates out of town. Okay. Well then, I'll go talk to them. Just relax and wait here. Everything's okay. Make sure you hide your faces. Sure is hot around here. I think I'll get in the shade. Ah, you bribed him. You're a good man, man. I appreciate it. Phew, we did it. I thought my heart would burst. How did you do that? No big deal. I just gave him a little gift. Imperial soldiers act tough, but money's their weakness. That's the state of things in the Imperial capital. Corruption is everywhere. Everything's about to come apart at the seams. That's too bad. Say, how did you bribe him? You just told us you had no money. Why should I use my own money to help you get away? What do you mean? Hey, my wallet. What, what did you... Eh, you stole his money and used it. Here you go. I suggest you keep a better eye on it. And now for our little promise. You haven't forgotten, have you, little fella? It's Master Tear. Okay, so it's Master Tear. I'd like you to meet someone in Lennon Camp. Agreed? It's a promise. Uh, yeah, I've actually never heard of Len Lennon Camp, so let's uh, check that out first. Ignorant of the real world, eh, Master? It's a quick trip south. Let's get going. I thought we were gonna head. I thought we were gonna head north, but okay. Let's do it, I guess. So, however far south we gotta go, I'm just gonna head straight south, and hopefully that works out. Yeah, it's literally south. Okay. Uh, that's just you right there. I was apparently this guy. Apparently, Victor just is pure defense. Okay. I hope I didn't waste the money buying him uh, armor there. He's going to abandon the party immediately, isn't he? I guess with a couple battles, he'd get up to a reasonable speed, but he's getting kind of slow. You know what? Let's just go ahead and kill the furball here, Bon Bon. And let's just go to town. I was going to do a little exploring down here, but... With my luck, I'll explore the whole area, and then they'll send me right back to go there anyway, so screw it. Here we are in Lenny Camp. Tear, not much of a place, but they do make fine tea here. I don't care about the tea. Well then, it's about time I got to work. Let me go make some arrangements. I may be late, so take a look around. Okay, cool. Let's check then. Who is this fellow that Victor wants us to meet? You know, I can't quite trust that man. It's mainly because he stole your wallet. <laughs> I have no idea. So what shall we do now? I'd love to take a shower. If we if we find a place for you to take a shower, we'll just uh, we'll just share. That way we don't have to waste too much hot water or anything like that. Is that is that okay with you, Cleo? Uh, no, I'm not. And yeah, we've never heard of Lenny Camp, despite the fact that it's like a mile to the south. A daughter named Meg. Okay, well, if we find her, I'll tell her to shut up, Meg. And if we don't find her, well, I won't be able to tell her that. Adventure calls. Hey, everyone's got to go out on an adventure at some point, right? I wish there was a way to toggle. I think I said this earlier, but there really needs to be a way to toggle the uh, run on. Otherwise, I'll just forget it's there for the most part. Um, 
Are you just an item shop? No, you're a rune master. Okay. Uh, it's kind of a shame that they don't sell extra runes that you can buy. That'd be nice. And I don't know why you have such a big shop for one person in there. The Khaki Inn. It's just down the street. Okay. I'm assuming that's the only inn around here, but whatever. Yeah, General Teal's off doing his own thing. Uh, this must be the shop that I was actually looking for. Brass armor, huh? It's a little expensive, but it's not too bad, I guess. Um, hmm. Cleo, you need a circlet. I thought I, ha I thought you had a circlet. Hang on a second. You do have a circlet. Oh, you probably get another one then. Okay. Let me see how much the plus five armor. So it's not even that much. It's not even that much better, but it's way more expensive. I'm not gonna buy it. Yet. I'll hold off on it for later. But we'll worry about that eventually, I guess. I'm hoping that there's a blacksmith around here to, you know, power up your weapons at some point. That'd be nice. You're just items, unless you have anything awesome, which I'm gonna guess no. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, nothing in here. That's where I already went. How you doing, boss? Oh, that looks like a blacksmith right there with the little hammer. Suspicious bunch of people going to the khaki inn. Uh, they probably just, you know, wake up in the morning when everyone else is asleep and leave then. Or they just, like, sleep during the day like vampires and leave at that point. So they live in the night. Alright, blacksmith, let's do it. Uh, let's see. We can add the rune fragment, I think. Um, what happened to my lightning rune? Did they take my lightning rune that I had? Those little fucks. That sucks. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and sharpen the weapons, I guess. Let's see, 300. So it powers up the attack there. Screw it. I'm going to get as much as I can on everybody, just because. Why not? 12. Twenty. That went up a lot, actually. Arm's name became Dra Dragon Fang Staff. Very nice. I'm guessing it's just gonna. Oh, I can't handle it. Okay. As I say, I'm guessing it's just gonna just keep getting um, stronger and stronger and more levels. Because previously I said what out of five. Um, you guys are probably gonna be expensive since you have way more levels here. So fourteen. I didn't see what that said. Okay, so... 23... 28... Okay, looks like we would only do up to 5 at the moment. Okay, so... I wish it would tell you... The, the base and then the end step before you started that way you can see if it's actually worth it or not. I'm assuming it's going to be worth it, but you don't know yet. Okay, so... Keep on going there. I think I went from 8 to 11. 20. It says something about arm's name became something there. Five. Uh, that's probably it, right? Yeah, okay. So there we go. Everyone got nice, powerful weapons here. I like it. I don't know. Uh, I want the... Strength. It doesn't actually tell you, but... Well, there we go. Our weapons are much stronger now, as far as I can tell, so that's awesome. Uh, that kind of took out a fair chunk of my money. If I hadn't won that 10,000 gold from the little gambling game earlier, we'd be a little more broke, but eh, it's good enough. Uh, is there anything? Oh, we can't check back there because we can't get back there. And I can't turn 
I can't turn too far left to check those pots, so whatever. Crin, I forgot something to tell you. Hee <laughs> hee. You know how monsters sometimes leave behind those urns? Sometimes you find valuable things. Yeah, I found those already. Apparently you're kind of creepy, but whatever. Either that or you just really, really care about the urns. Is there anything else over here? No, that's just Adam's shop. Alright, I guess we're just going to head to the inn since there's not a whole lot else to do. Some traders are on the run. I know, of course it's not us. We're just some random people that uh, just happen to go to your town after the traders became prominently known. East to Rockland. Mount Tiger Wolf. That sounds like a dangerous animal right there. Tiger Wolf. I'm kind of mad that my lightning rune piece is just kind of gone. Eh, oh well. Nothing there. That's a really big clock. I guess it's supposed to be like a short grandfather clock, I guess. Kind of looks like that. Uh, do we need to stay 70 bits per person? I think we're fine. No thanks. I'd like to take a shower. Tough. Not at 70 bits a room. That's highway robbery right there. I'm assuming we're going to have to enter the uh, inn in order to advance the plot here, but... That really sucks. How much money do you have? Yeah, this place doesn't seem like it's the most reputable place, but... Or reputable, however you say it. But I guess we don't have a choice in the matter. So you're a friend of Victor as well, then. I'll prepare the best rooms we have. I guess what's his name? Victor. Never returned. But we didn't make any other plans. Let's wait a bit longer, and if he doesn't still show up, we'll head north. Perhaps Master Teo can help us. Cleo, why did Pawn... Don't... Grimio. What's going on at such a late hour? The further some fugitives are staying here, we'll look around. But sir, our guests are sleeping. Shut up. Do you plan to harbor rebels? Young master, they're coming for us. Victor, he must have ratted on us. I knew we shouldn't have tr trusted him. Or bottom items. Damn it. This doesn't look good. They'll find us for sure. You know, you'd think with the hundred and something recruitable characters, you'd think that one or two of these guys that we find would stick around. Jeez. Well, what should we do, me, young master? Uh, let's fight our way out. Let's do it. Uh, yes, young master. I, Grimio, will protect you with my life. Oh, stop it, Grimio. He was kidding. There's too many of them. Come down. Uh, I actually wasn't kidding, but whatever. We're in big trouble now. Grimmy, maybe we can get Young Master out before... This way, hurry! Who is that? Ah, he's hiding behind the... The stout grandfather clock there. What should we do, Young Master? And he won't let me choose to fight again. That voice from the clock, I think. Odessa, what are you waiting for? Hurry, do you want to get caught? Who are you? Whoever it is, thank God. Don't ask questions, just leave. So you're the new friends that Victor told me about. Everyone's waiting. Follow me. Okay, cool. That works for me, I guess. Sorry, dear. You must have had a tough time. But it was exciting, wasn't it? What's going on here? I didn't think I'd give myself away so soon. Oh well, now that you've met Odessa. Odessa? The name rings a bell. You don't mean the Rebel Army. Rebel Army? We prefer to call ourselves the Liberation Army. But who cares about names? Let me introduce myself. 
I am Odessa Silverberg, leader of the Liberation Army. How do you do? And this guy's name is Flick. Victor, are these the people you wanted us to meet? That's right, prepare yourselves for a surprise. This here is the son of the General This here is the son of General Teal McDowell. And a fugitive to boot. Don't you think he'll be a great asset to the Liberation Army? You've got to be kidding. Why should young master join the rebels? Right, young master? Um Yeah, who says I'll join? I don't care how how hot the redhead is. So he says. Well, perhaps um, we can convince him, right? He has nowhere to go anyway, right? I guess you've all been fooled by Victor as well. Whenever he takes a liking to someone, he just drags him in. But they do appear to be hunted by the Imperials, and the town's still full of soldiers. You may stay until things blow over. Whatever decision you make afterwards is up to yourselves. You've got to be kidding, young master. Join the rebels. No way. Rebels, Liberation Army. Well, why not? Maybe we should become true rebels. On the other hand, what will Master Teal think? Well, he'll probably be kind of mad since he's, you know, the one of the great generals of the uh, Empire there. But whatever. If Odessa greets you as a guest, so will I. My name is Flick, Lightning, Lightning Flick of the Liberation Army. You never heard of me? Uh, well, then I remember the name. The quiet one there is Humphrey the Swordsman, and that's San Sanchez. We three are pretty famous in the Liberation Army, you know. You don't really think the Empire will take you back, do you? They'll kill you for sure. You're not very talkative, are you? Oh well. I'm so sorry, you must have had a fright. Victor's got bad habits, I guess we're enemies. Too bad. My name is Sanchez, how do you do? Actually, I don't mind uh, joining up with you guys, really. I was just joking. Um, how do we uh, get out of here, then? That is some guy that fell on the stairs. That sucks for him, but uh, are you all right? I, I must tell Lady Odessa. Let's take him inside. Where are we? Don't worry, this is the Liberation Army hideout. So our hideout is in the sewers. Okay, sure, why not? Have you a message for me? You must be Odessa, thank goodness. I'm one of the Mount Saifu bandits, but we only attack those rotten Imperials. Anyway, the other day the Imperial Guard came over and captured our bosses, Varkus and Sidonia. Varkus and Sidonia? Could they be... Shh, be quiet. Lady Odessa, please. Help Varkus and Sid Sidonia. That rotten Grady at Rockland has strung them up to starve to death. Outrageous. Execution without trial. Even by imperial law, that's illegal. How awful. But Odessa, imperial surveillance has been intense lately. We have to keep a low profile. I'm aware that we're understaffed. But the bandits have asked for our help. We can't let them down. Uh, guess it's our fault, so let's uh, help out with that. What do you mean it's your fault? We... Kind of the ones that got him arrested. That's how it's our fault. I see. Well, even if you didn't know what you were doing, you still have to claim responsibility, right, Tyr? You must rescue Varkus's, Varkus and Sidonia. I'll help you too. I agree. I don't plan to betray the Empire, but Grady is unforgivable. You're right. Undoing Grady's wrongs could be good for the Empire. Besides, if Young Master gives the orders, I will follow. Thank you. Varkus and Sidonia are strung up at the home of Rockland's military commander. If you don't hurry, they'll dry up. Please help them. Tyr, I beg of you too. Victor, you go too. Leave it to Victor. Let's get going, Tyr. Rockland, here we come. Alright, I guess we're going back to Rockland. And Victor joins the party again. Awesome. Uh, how about you, Hot? Please, Tyr, help them. Uh, how about you help me too by being, you know, in my party and being better eye candy than Cleo? Rockland is east, blah, 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 we know that. Humphrey still doesn't say anything. Apparently Flick is not very trusting of, well, anybody, I guess. Uh, how is our stuff here? Everything's good. 
Uh, Victor, do we have to worry about upgrading your stuff? Let's actually check that out real fast. Okay, 1500. Let's do it. This way he's not uh, falling behind in any damages there. So it went to 14, and then if we do it again, it will... 22, okay. Nice little upgrade there. And it became Shiko Sword. Okay, everything's all maxed out at level 5 for the moment, so that's good to go. I do want to get to... I do want to get to Rockwood real fast, and that way we can get through any, like, story stuff. And then I can go ahead and um, do a little bit of gambling off-screen. See how well that works out. Uh, let's see, do we have any new Unites? No, and you're still just defending. I don't know what's up with you, Victor, but I'm not really digging that. Especially since I just spent... A lot of money upgrading your item there, but whatever. Come on, Victor. Be useful. Uh, these damn birds are dodging everything. Well, wow. can he not dodge every attack thrown at you? That'd be fantastic. And the town. Did I pass the town? No, it's right over here. Okay. All right. Let's see if they will welcome us back with open arms. Awesome. Okay, good. They're not going to make us go through a cutscene or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Try to do a little bit of money grinding over here. And next episode, we'll rescue the bandits. So, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.